I'll be doing a run through of the new AI skin enhancer in the upcoming Luminar 4 release, right after the break. Thanks for tuning in. I'm going to do a run through of uh, one of the new features in the upcoming Luminar 4 release. And so before I get started, I do have to mention as with my other videos that I'm looking at a beta or pre-production version of the software. And so what that means is that there may be changes um, in the interface and the layout and how it appears and functions but it does give you a bit of an idea on how the features work um, prior to the final release in this picture um, I've got my daughter and what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to have a look at some of the portrait features so on the right hand side we've got a whole range of different controls we've got essentials creative and then portrait and so within portrait, we've got we've got portrait enhancer. So this lets you adjust, you know, face light and all of these various different things. But the thing that's most interesting, I think, is AI skin enhancer. So what I'm going to do is I've got this turned off at the moment now, and I'm going to zoom in to my daughter's face a little bit more. And so. What happens in AI Skin Enhancer is it tries to understand where the face is and apply very specific um, changes to the face to try and create a more improved portrait. So in this case, I go into AI Skin Enhancer and I'm going to drag this slightly to the right. And so what you'll see is as I go to the right on this, it starts to soften um, my daughter's skin. Um, quite significantly. Now there's also AI skin defect removal. And so what that does is that tries to look for any blemishes or you know bits and pieces and, and remove those as well. So I'll zoom in a little bit more again. And you can see at the moment that's zero and you bring it all the way to the right and it makes a very big difference. But what's quite interesting about this feature is if I zoom out, this is only working on the skin. So it's not doing anything to the background. It's intelligent enough to know that this is where skin is. So that's where it needs to work on. And so that coupled with something like AI Enhance allows you to really make an image pop because AI, um, AI Enhance through AI Accent, for example, will work on the background but it will say, well, I can't really improve the face because I don't really know how to quite as well as AI Skin Enhancer. And so AI Skin Enhancer will then improve the face, but not worry about the background. So I hope you found this uh, very quick run through useful. Um, if you liked it, give me a thumbs up, um, leave some comments, subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for more videos. Thanks for watching.